Hello dear students, this is introduction to office management course tutorial. The topic I am going to discuss is classification of filing. The learning objective is to understand classification of filing. Well, you have learned about filing. Filing is arranging and ordering the documents or the information that are available and that need to be preserved in office for future use of an organization. Now, the filing or the arranging of information and important documents that need to be grouped on various basis and that is called classification. Filing is about arranging and sorting the documents and records for easy location for any future use. Therefore, it requires classification of the records which again depends upon the nature and volume of business. Some of the methods used for classification of files are alphabetical classification, numerical classification, geographical classification, subject wise classification and chronological classification. So these are most common classification methods. Now besides these methods also there are a number of methods but in this tutorial I am going to discuss particularly this five classification method. Now let's discuss alphabetical classification. This classification is based on alphabetic order of the words or names. The files are arranged according to the names of persons, firms and companies. Generally, the first letter of the name or surname is taken for arrangement. When more than one person name start with the same letter, then the second letter of the name is considered. Now the same will apply in case of organization or artificial person also. If the first and second letter are same, then the third letter is taken up and so on. The arrangement may took the following form. So here you see how it can be. Now say here in the picture you notice that the files are kept in alphabetical order. Just assume there is a cabinet and in the cabinet the files or the folders are kept. Now the first file you notice that ABC limited. Now the second is Aero limited. Then Bora Auto Services, Breeze limited. Camel Enterprise, Direct Limited, Dodal Service Limited, Saikia Agency, Tarla Enterprise, etc. Now here you have noticed that these files are kept in alphabetical order. So first it starts with A, then A. Uh, since the first two files both are starting from letter A and therefore it is noticed that the second letter that A, B okay, that need to be kept in mind and after that A, E because E comes after B. Then after keeping this files which are starting from A, there comes the B, then C, D, then S because there are no other files bearing the letters or alphabets between B and S and therefore after B, S is coming. Then T, Okay, so in this order, the files or the classification is done. Now, this method is very easy to understand and operate. And it is useful for small business where number of correspondence is limited. Numerical classification. So from the name, you can guess that here numerics are used numerics that means numbers are used for classification in this method the correspondence of subject are allotted a number the number is written on the file used for papers of a particular person an index is prepared stating the name and number allotted to different persons the files are kept in the cabinet according to numbers when a letter is to be filed, the number is seen from the index and the concerned file is taken out from the cabinet for placing the letter in it. 
Now, similar to alphabetical classification, this numerical classification method is also simple to operate. It has also the benefit of flexibility. However, it requires to consult the index every time for filing a document. There is more chances of misfiling if a mistake arises in putting the number in files. Now there is another method of classification of files which is based on the area, that is geographic area, say district, state, zone wise, country wise or in various other way. Uh, but all those are based on the geographic area. Now when a file is arranged geographic area wise, say district wise, state wise, zone wise, it is called geographic classification. This method is suitable for export houses, mail order houses, companies with large number of branches. Say you can talk about the banking institution. They are having branches say in our country in India. Say northeastern zone, then southern zone, northern zone, eastern zone. So in this way, the files can be classified. Now this method is easy to classify since the incoming letters has full address and name of the party. It is also speedy in location of files. However, the filing clerk should have accurate knowledge of different places and reason. This method is need to be associated with some other classification such as alphabetical or numerical classification. So, uh, it means say in the first level that is um, when first the classification they are going to do, in that time it will be based on area or that is geographical classification, say in northeastern zone. Then again in the northeastern zone they will uh, see some subjects, okay. see some subjects or say some alphabet wise in northeastern there are say uh, states like Assam, Manipur, Nagaland, Mizoram. So in this way again the classification of the files can be done. Now let's discuss subject wise classification. In this method all letters or correspondence relating to a particular subject are recorded in one file irrespective of the source of the letter or the person from whom it is received. This method is considered scientific but it is slow. It facilitates reference when subject matter is known. Say in an organization, there are various activities are performed like sales, production, purchases, premises related activities, then equipments related uh, activities. Now, the information related to those subjects can be classified uh, based on these subjects. Say sales, production, purchases, premises, equipments and their files can be kept in this way. Files or folders can be kept in this way in the cabinet. So it helps in easy location of the uh, file. So where to put the documents if uh, say the document is a sales invoice then where to put in the sales folder or in the sales file. Now there is another classification which is based on date, time, or day or say maybe month, year, etc. Then that is called chronological classification. When records are arranged according to the dates of correspondence, it is called chronological classification. Now say if the same date is found for different correspondence, then a the time along with the date is considered to arrange those. Vouchers and invoices relating to accounts are arranged in chronological order. Now here you see in the picture, say there are files which are say arranged in uh, month wise, say January, February, March, April, so month wise and this is for a particular year. Say for another year again they will keep it as uh, in the same order in January, February, March, April in that way. So that is called chronological classification. Now this uh, method is suitable for small concern only and uh, though it is very simple to operate. But uh, the problem is that this system cannot be used independently. 
is because along with time or along with that day there may be some other things like uh, based on subject matter the classification need to be done and therefore it is uh, this method is not considered independent now to summarize in practice organization adopt a mix of two or more than two methods of classification for example at the first stage the firm adopt geographical classification then in the second stage alphabetical classification of files are done and the same may happen in other methods of classification also so with this i am going to conclude this topic classification of filing now these are the sources from where i have collected the information that i have presented in the slides thank you